Good morning! Today is our last day in Vietnam, unfortunately. Thank you Vietnam for having us. Now it's time to go home. Today will be travel vlog, but we have a connecting flight going back home. So it's gonna be very interesting travel vlog. Our car arrived. We're going home. <laughs> let's go, let's get inside. Meanwhile, that's the last shot of the streets of Saigon. And we arrived to the airport. This is the Saigon International Airport. It's quiet, busy, I'm gonna tell you. And the sun, that's why I always have to wear sunglasses. <laughs> let's go inside, let's get inside. Beautiful weather when leaving Saigon today, by the way. And it's very, very busy. Check this out. And obviously also inside the terminal is busy. We are flying today Scoot with connecting flights in Singapore to Bali and this is all the people flying to Singapore by Scoot at 9.30 at morning also quite a lot of people I'm gonna tell you and the uh, other flight is also going to Singapore oh my god that was a very long queue it yeah and then what is it in the security check or something yeah I never see like the airport so packed and so long waiting well actually that we almost waiting for two hours two hours so when you are in Vietnam keep it in mind it's very busy in Vietnam actually so many people flying in and out especially mm. out what I realized today so three hours keep it in mind two hours if you will have a two or one hour fifty one hour 30 you will don't make it today so we took three hours and we have 30 minutes to boarding time so yeah just a good tip from us as we are traveling i travel frequently currently but still have a 30 minutes for having a coffee last time we made the video when winnie is buying the dress so this is the dress that's how it looks like on winnie how how is the dress nice so you nice like it the material is so good okay and that's the situation in the airport oh, look, they have a coffee here so maybe we can have it meanwhile that's how it's, it's quite busy we are flying to singapore first with the scoot gate number 20 somewhere here and they have a nice vespa and that's the place what you can find in the american dollar prices in the airport check this out everything is in american dollar prices that's very interesting actually right got our coffee it's our last day we need last day on holiday and already busy with her office at morning a little bit not the best mood i'm gonna talk <laughs> i'm gonna talk about sayang why they got asking you for office already to work yeah no oh, good anyway this is our coffee what arrived We're looking overlooking the airport and one coffee cost you here five uh, five eight us dollar as you can see the price uh, it's in american dollar transform into dongs is almost three hundred thousand dongs the change was into <laughs> like this one and this is definitely the most expensive thing we bought in vietnam so far and this is just the coffee actually at least very nice in the airport but definitely the most expensive one and pretty pricey i'm gonna tell you actually for the airport but this is international and meanwhile that's how does it look like the um the airport is actually definitely busier when i was here last time i think i was sitting actually in the same cafe and i think also was in american dollars at that time so basically you're gonna fly to singapore my scout uh, we're gonna have a three hours uh, transit in singapore and then we are flying back to Bali uh, so we got like a direct ticket but with transit so we don't need to check out going from outside the transit zone in Singapore but I never stay actually long time inside the transit zone so today we're gonna show you a little bit later in the airport in Singapore for everyone who having a similar flights because I know so many of you guys flying like having two three four hours transit in Singapore which is maybe not enough time to going to you know uh, to see the jewel or something but actually in the transit zone you can do many many things meanwhile this is the single uh, still vietnam uh, saigon airport that's how it looks like actually quite many people flying uh, internationally and this is our scoot we're gonna fly this plane uh well so happy so happy to to go again flying two flights today 
saying what's happened with your work. Why are you on holidays and they, they texting you? Oh my god, I already, you know, like had a um, one week holiday and then they just keep texting me from the office. I feel like my gastritic coming up again. I even I already left my laptop in the office yeah. and I feel like, oh my god. But they still asking you to work on holiday. That's not good lah. Not good. But don't stress, we still travel today, okay? Boarding, boarding, boarding time. Flying Scoot Singapore. We are sitting at the back, so we are boarding first, actually. Boarding, boarding, boarding. <laughs> Honey, are you excited for flying more? Yeah, but we have my two mind, my mind is in Switch my off office. the phone. Switch off the <laughs> phone and Wi-Fi. <laughs> at least you're happy. <laughs> Morning. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you. Ah, so happy to fly again. Now we are Scott Scoot going to Singapore. Hello. Oh, pretty busy. I think it will be all the flights nowadays actually fully booked, I guess. All right, so we are in the plane already. Uh, off to Singapore, three hours transit. <laughs> Having some no fish, fish bowl noodles and stuff and buying sweets. And then we go back to Bali. But uh, today will be long video divide by three sections Vietnam Singapore and Bali airports so cool so cool also I would like to notice as thanks to project of this Boeing uh, no this is the Airbus IA320 I think but as they put this all of these documents here not here I have more space on my knees a little bit which is very handy actually because uh, yeah, I'm kind of big guy <laughs> Uh, tall 185 centimeters tall and that's the situation the plane and the airport also they have a nice thingy like this one <laughs> i'm kind of excited like a small kid when it's coming to travel especially flying i don't know just really like it i am really enjoying the flying No, it's, it's international transit is different than domestic transit side. <laughs> no, you never do it? No, I never do it. Like last time, when I fly to Sumba, I have a transit in Kupa. I have to stay in the flight. That's different, Sai. Let's go. All right, welcome to Singapore. Actually, we have uh, like a two and a half hour transit in Singapore in Changi Airport. Terminal 1 however we're gonna explore a little bit what you could do here because they have a cinema I have they have a swimming pool and Sayang is confused because we really never do the uh, transit like this one in her life it's the first time transit when you was thinking as uh, she thought as we're gonna stay in the plane like she usually transiting in Indonesia so it's like a <laughs> good trial before we're gonna go to Europe let's explore a little bit of the transit zone of Changi Airport for every one of you who have a transit like this one in the future you know what to do what you can expect so this is already transit zone so you don't need to leave the airport so you cannot go to singapore or georgia if you want you can but if so you can explore uh, all the terminals so this is actually terminal one and we are on the level two level three we can go between the terminals as well two and three so first thing what we want to show you now is the cinema because i've been in singapore so many times but i never visited cinema because i never had so much time in the transit zone we had two and a half hour we're gonna go we have to move to terminal three currently so you have so many shops and also there's our arrival hall if you would like to go out you just go down and then do the immigration of uh, stuff but if not you can stroll around the airports actually between the terminals all of them number two number four so uh well this is like a duty-free zone here sayang you still confused <laughs> uh, so, uh, say something <laughs> i don't know i'm speechless so basically uh, going down and this is the terminal one arrival immigration if you would like to go to jewel you have to pass it but we are not going to jewel in this occasion sayang okay no no next time honey next time next time honey okay 
No time. Let's go to cinema instead. <laughs> or shopping, Sayang. Shopping. <laughs> uh, so cool. No, we are also joking a little bit. Uh, you can buy your electronics here duty free, like normal shopping, even the uh, money changer, ATMs, all of this. Um, this airport is huge in general. So Winnie was this found Discovery Garden and she really wanna have a look. We're gonna have uh, some lunch later on somewhere, but Discovery Garden is as you can get inside, outside. I mean, you can have a fresh air without leaving the airport. Here I go, this is like a little garden made just between the terminals. Pretty cool with the wooden horses. And you can probably smoke here as well. Actually, I'm not sure if you can smoke, but we can walk around. This airport is open 24 hours and I saw uh, some videos on the internet as some people were spending here more than 24 hours in the transit zones. Actually, I was thinking to book the ticket like this, one, but maybe in different occasion, one day. But uh, I know as you can spend quite a long time here and well, plenty options to do. So we are on the way to Terminal 3 and this is the main lobby of Terminal 1 actually. Uh, as you can see quite busy in general and well you can really stroll around for a very long time so we are going to take a sky train to terminal 3 right now also the lunches and everything and also this is the shop where you can buy the iphone duty free tax free in case if you're interested and of course you can find so many so many shops with any kind of souvenirs also any kind of luxury goods and even coffee and tea singaporean and, and all around the world i mean it's so much shops here and so much options you know, we are still going to terminal 3 to find the cinema it's currently seven past one and our flight is this one uh, at 3.20, so we have like a two and a half hour, two hours. And if you wanna travel to Terminal 3, you have to take a SCAR train to Terminal 3 from Terminal 1. Uh, it's gonna be every few minutes. In three minutes, it'll be the train. We're gonna go that direction. And this is our train, Sayang. <laughs> you look, we go, <laughs> get inside. Sayang looks very confusing today. <laughs> and that's the train, Sky Train. Uh, we can also, ex you can really explore quite a lot in the airport, if you wish and you like. We are only alone, honey, in the, in the train, like a private, honey. <laughs> Where are we going? <laughs> just follow me, la. And just in case if you ask, uh, we could take a Vietjet direct flight to Bali, but it's four and a half hour one way, and then the small plane, but uh, it's still full day out of the, you know, you travel full day. But instead, I booked the flight, which was actually also cheaper a little bit by Scoot in the transit in Singapore. In my opinion, it's a super cool experience, but also we have opportunity to make a special video because I know many of you have in care transit and don't know what to do. So today is like a long travel video. <laughs> so cool in my opinion. And then here we go. We are arriving to Terminal 1, uh, 3, sorry, next to Crown Plaza. It's so cool actually because you can really have a nice view of everything. And eventually we are in just five minutes or maybe less, we arrive to Terminal 3. Also there is also Terminal 2 and Terminal 4, but we are today focusing on Terminal 1 where we are flying into and from and also on Terminal 3 because looking for the cinema now. Uh, Sai, are you excited? You yeah. happy as we took the, 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 the flight like this one? <laughs> hey, last time when we were in Singapore and then at that time, uh, you know, you still do, you still did your visa run. Long time ago, ages ago. Yeah, I never explored this because we, we didn't... only went by Air Asia at that time. Uh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> and also we were like, a, you know, quick, quick go and go. But uh, I, I really want to show you around. Also, it's like a good <laughs> experience for us and quite a lot of fun. <laughs> so next to this beautiful duty-free shop with the alcohols from all around the world with the good prices, we are going to this one, free movie. Also, it's the butterfly garden and then other lounges and hotels and everything. But we are going uh, to the movies here. Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. <laughs> Hello, what's going on? Oh, that's the door. Oh, 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 it's hard. <laughs> Wow, that's the garden with the butterflies. Sayang, that's the butterflies in the airport. You don't need to butterfly park in Barilla. Here is for free in the airport. <laughs> Check this out. Oh, look at this one. Wow. They eating pineapple, Sayang? They eating pineapple here. So beautiful. And they are even happy. 
Wow, this is like a, in the airport for free for visitors in Terminal 3. Oh, even have a little waterfall here. Check this out. So that's how does it look like a little waterfall and the butterflies in general. Uh, you can walk everywhere around there are two levels. And of course there is the airport just next next to it. The hungry plants. That's interesting. Oh, this plant that I read it when I was in a, you know high school. So when the insect coming there and you know coming there in the hole and then will be like that. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to get eaten by the flower. Let's go to the movie. Lah. Next to the butterfly park, you have also like a little pool with the fish koi here. You can wait and of course watching the planes and upstairs where we actually is street food hall. Sayang, I'm already hungry. Look oh. at the nice food. Okay, let's go eat first. You can find oh nasi lema. Here, this is like a food court on Terminal 3. Actually, I'm familiar with this one. You can find so many foods options here. Fried rice noodles. Uh, that is currently like an option where you have to order in the self kiosk right there by yourself. So I'm gonna show you. Oh, this is Vietnamese food. We actually come back. Sayang, but no Vietnamese food now, eh? Something Singaporean, okay? If I already in Singapore, uh, this is the beverage kiosk. Uh, high nice chicken rice this is very popular in singapore in case if you are uh, interested check this out the dishes like this one of the prices 758 dollars in singapore airport that's really not so bad uh, there's the pork noodles here and there is the uh, other noodles like this one so much options actually everywhere around sayang you already decide what you would like to have uh chicken rice okay let's order yeah so ordering is here also wonton noodles actually i think i will go into wonton noodles and this is where you order so guys um, the first of all we have to look at the menu here and then we choose the style like two three four one so high nice chicken is this one the four and i want to have a wonton okay so now it's time to order the food this is how you do it you can pay by credit card or singapore uh, currency so that man will order something uh uh for me chicken rice lah chicken rice uh-uh yeah. uh -uh. <laughs> okay with something extra to oh um, press egg please okay okay so when you already order you have like all of this the number and uh, we bought like all of the goods goods for 16 dollars singaporean not so bad not so bad ah oh, like uh, like a 10 us or something like that for the airport it's not so bad rupees. yeah 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 for both of the yeah, for in, singapore? in singapore airport yeah very good but <laughs> rice of drinks oh hello 1806. 1806. Thank you. That's thank my you. job. Thank you. Thank you. And this is the drinks menu and options. Also, the drinks are really not so bad, like for the airport, especially in Singapore. So much options. And this is how you see it. Also, Burger King is there in case if you don't like Asian food. All right. That's my soup uh, of the beef something Coke. And the movie theater, in case if you're interested, is next to Ambassador Transit Lounge and Ambassador Hotel. So it's actually here, you enter like this one. And there's some movies currently, I don't know, Doctor Strange, Encanto, King Richard, Dune, Spider-Man, No Way Home. And it's one o'clock and we can get here, inside. Free screening all day, all night, 24 hours. I have to be quiet. So that was the cinema. Obviously, I cannot film inside the cinema. Like, where is the movie playing? That I hope so you understand. However, you have a point of view. How does it look like? Actually, next to the food court. And there is so much shops, options everywhere here. Gonna buy some sweets uh, because, you know, <laughs> I like chocolate. Right? And there uh, actually... Because you have sugar, <laughs> Tax-free, you know, <laughs> nice. I just like chocolate. Oh, it's the cacao tree. Okay. As you know that Damian is the chocolate lover guy. So whenever he is in Singapore, he always have a time to buy the chocolate. Okay, fine, honey. So if you're guys chocolate lover, this is um, 
really place for you you have to visit this just like Damian and yeah I'll take to stroll around a little bit because I don't want to be closed by Damian he shop will uh, he's uh, shopping quite a lot <laughs> for the chocolate we got some sweets some goodies you know <laughs> uh, we showed you already what you can do on terminal 3 uh, going back to terminal 1 now because our flight is in about approximately one hour and then we are heading back to Bali and of course you're going the same way terminal 3 to terminal 1 sky train over here like this one very easy very easy indeed let's go Sayang Joel is behind you so we cannot go there <laughs> no time Sayang one hour left to go to the Bali la. or we stay in, in Singapore instead <laughs> uh, <okay>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah the Joel is over there uh, in case if you ask and now here we go this is uh, Winnie's favorite and uh, no sweets but the Irvine salted egg fish skin and many other interesting snacks this is Singaporean product 100% very interesting stuff uh, say uh, you wanna have one? Uh, <laughs> uh, Irvine's we don't have this one in Bali and that's the prices in case if you are interested uh, in the airport. Actually, I remember the prices in the cities are pretty mm -hmm. the same. What, which one are you taking, Sayang? This one. And I Smoked have a cheese, pass. small boarding pass. boarding pass. Boarding pass. Okay, guys, so many people saying that the food in Singapore is more expensive. But today, you see that we ordered two meals and then two drinks, cost us around 200. Uh, thousand rupiah thousand twenty rupiah. Singaporean dollars. Yes, but last time when we were in Maruma days, I paid around four hundred fifty k something. In Bali Airport. Yes, uh, with the same like, kind similar, of similar same food, right? Food, right? Like rice with the chop chai. And, and I had the noodles. Yeah. And you have the noodles and with the two drinks. So yeah, <laughs> what I can say. <laughs> and this is the the cocoa tree. Also very interesting shop with the sweets and everything. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think I, I reached the limit, yeah? Yeah, the okay. chocolate is already offered those. <laughs> that is so tempting, Saya. Okay, let's have a coffee. <laughs> let's have a coffee somewhere. Jamie Oliver is here. That's unbelievable, actually, I didn't know that. And on the way, we find out that actually here is also swimming pool open public for everyone, just over there. Unfortunately, on today's occasion, I don't think so. We have a time to, to see the swimming pool. But let's uh, sneak in a little bit. I'm just curious, you know. So the swimming pool is actually here. The rooftop airport pool. The rooftop one, Saya. I don't know how to get inside. If we can get inside, actually. Uh, it's supposed to be open. Actually, we can get inside. I want to have a look. What's this here, actually? This is like this one. Say it again. <laughs> That's the only pool in the... That's the only outdoor pool in the world in the airport. In the airport. Check this out, guys. I have a little permission to show you a little bit. Just quick. This is the bar. And there is the pool. Rooftop one. In the airport. You can see the planes over there. This is the only one rooftop pool in the airport. You just pay $27 per person. Unlimited time in the pool. And look like a beach club in Bali. The fight. <laughs> This club in Bali, check this out. There is the pool overlooking the planes and there is the bar and everything. It's actually cool, cool vibe. Okay, so Changi Airport is super cool. They have a movie theater over there for free, if I'm not mistaken. For free, the theater is for free, yes. totally for free. And they also have a swimming pool overviewing the plane. Super crazy, huh? It's like a beach club, but we're in the airport. <laughs> wow, in Bali it's already like a beach club, but super cool. So cool. That's why Changi Airport is considered as one of the best of the best airport in the world. That's why I booked the ticket with transit because it's just part of our holiday. <laughs> so this is why you take me to the transit. Kinda. Oh. But at least you know now, and you guys wow. also it's know. It's, it's worth it. But you regret? Do you regret? No, so uh, I would like to recommend you guys whenever you come to Bali, take the flight that transit in Changi Airport. So let's yeah. say that you can chill by the pool, you can, you know, watch the movie, enjoying the food. So good. And try to explore. Don't just sit in the one place. Try to explore. It's really worth it and very easy to navigate. Boarding time, boarding time, next time, next flight. Unfortunately, you have to wear a mask when you're flying to Indonesia. Well, that's the rule still. 
only one country left in Asia. Boarding, boarding, boarding. This flight is going to Bali, Indonesia. Let's see. Probably full as well, like always. Wow. All right. <laughs> it was a very quick transit actually in Singapore, and then now it's time to go to But that was very enjoyable transit actually. Uh, I will do it again. Do, would you do it again? Yeah. Nice. We will do it again. Uh, I will see you now in Bali. We're gonna film how it's uh, arriving in Bali. You know all the procedures and everything during G20 week because it's G20 actually starting tomorrow, and many already people are already there. So I think it's gonna be a little bit str stressful. <laughs> let's see guys if you're watching this video till this moment i believe you really enjoyed i would like to ask you for the big favor it's cost you totally nothing it's totally for free just please big thumb up uh, this help us to grow this video you know to make a range all the people can see because youtube can recommend this if you don't do like this the youtube is reading this video is not really worth it to recommend and also if you're new on this channel you haven't subscribed yet please hit this red button uh, under our name is the subscribe you will get the notifications we are making videos every single day uh, thank you so much Welcome to Bali. We arrived. Uh, well, everything went smooth. This is something new, actually. I don't remember these beautiful paintings here, uh, like a corridor when you are walking. As always, we're gonna show you every step procedure how it is when you're landing in Bali right now. In case if you are interested, because you're getting the request like this one. And yeah. Meanwhile, enjoy the beautiful painting. <laughs> Very nice. This is because G20. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. G20. As Winnie was right, everywhere is G20. We're going to immigration checkpoint and the vaccination checkpoint first. Um, quite, quite a lot of people, I guess. Let's see, let's see. Oh, they make some nice decorations now. When I was landing like a two months ago or something like that, wasn't this one here, I don't remember. Also seems like the lines are so quiet today. Seems like they really, reduce the flights because last time was so busy only like five people waiting for visa on arrival last time was so busy Siam. seems like the flights are reduced today so quiet unbelievable so quiet but so organized now i mean like everything looks so beautiful i mean like nice look at this one nice decorations here i think here we're going to check the vaccination uh but uh like i said it's totally different than last time because it's very very quiet unbelievable Okay, vaccination card already checked. That was easy. And now you have a visa on arrival payment for every one of you who having like a no visa to coming to Indonesia. But we are going into Kitas Kitab Indonesian. But if you would like to buy visa on arrival, you can buy it there, right? But we are going, well, here, visa, Kitas Kitab. This is the bad situation. Uh, you can buy some SIM cards and everything. It seems like actually, really seems very quiet seems like many flights were cancelled um I, I i don't know last time was really busy always but now seems like it's quieter this is the flights what actually are today um yeah also you have to do now the uh, customs declaration is online so it's no more papers they asked me to do it actually in the vietnam airport. they didn't give me boarding pass before i make it i don't know why i was so strict but that's normal for you no no boys okay so this is the e-custom declaration actually after you sign in and then the information about passenger address and blah 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 and next 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 and next actually regular stuff pretty easy also this is very important this is the newest rule here in indonesia as if you are bringing phone coming for more than 90 days you have to register email and pay the tax 
Uh, that's very interesting. Many people ask me about that one. So yeah, that's the official note. Okay, after um, filling the online application and then you will get a QR code. So later on, you will just scan the QR code and go home. So actually, literally, they removed the paper form uh, because last time I still was filling the paper form, but now no. But you can use the computers if you don't have internet or smartphone or something like that, I guess. And yeah, this, uh, I don't know where they're coming from, but this one actually busy now here. And when you leave the, all the procedures, immigration, the metal detectors, all of the stuff, you have a money changers, ATMs, transportation, golden birds, and all of this stuff. You know, regular stuff as always. Um, also, you can buy the SIM cards here. Uh, that's the two, the best operators here in, the, in the Indonesia. If you're interested, I'm using the first one, but the second one is also good. And well, long time ago, the people was waiting here. Currently, uh, you are not allowed. And well, but they have a wine shop now in case if you're interested. <coughs> and now we're gonna show you our the favorite way how to take the Bluebird for very affordable prices. Uh, like a not airport taxi or grab taxi or something like that from the airport, but like a normal price. And in case if you didn't know, Bali is like Ibiza now because you have an advertising of Atlas Beach Club, the biggest club in Asia and the airport. Welcome to Ibiza. Seriously? They have in April? <laughs> Everything is changing, Bali is changing, what I can say, but Starbucks is also here. Uh, well, and then there is the, all the taxi waiting to um, yeah, not so bad today actually. I don't know what to say. It's busy or not. It's just how how it is. Also, if you're interested about the SIM card, that's the current price. Oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, I don't need the SIM card, obviously. We're going up and then we're going to take a taxi. Also, so many stations for the G20. Actually, I'm not sure what is the for who is that, but for very important people as well, probably. Uh, and that's the, all the taxi drivers waiting here. Meanwhile, this is the little shot of the uh, Bali airport for everyone who are missing the place. And this is um, the place where the, all the taxi drivers, the uh, transportation from the hotel, from everything waiting, waiting for you. Obviously, uh, it's pretty. The, it's new because this is the wall now. So there is the you know the crowd waiting for you if you order the taxi driver is like this one. Uh, Where's Winnie? We're going up to the lift, taking the taxi bluebird from the departure, which is up there. But if you wanna have a taxi airport, you go just follow these people over there, and there will be also the grab and everything will be there. So this is the departure hall. Uh, also, uh, one more time, the departure uh, like this one. Bars are open, and we are going here. People like uh, you know get that drop by the bluebird taxi because they are flying out of Bali. We're gonna take a first taxi, what we're gonna see, and we're gonna go home. Sayang, are you happy as we come back home? Yeah. That's the also departure today, uh, even the flight to Sydney was canceled for some reason. And this is the departure area again. We're looking for the bluebird somewhere. Also seems pretty quiet, so probably we're gonna have to wait today uh, for a second before we're gonna find this. Uh, but must be somewhere at the front. I can already see the lights of the bluebird. And this is our bluebird. We're gonna took him from the from the departure. Somebody dropped it. He actually wanted to go home alone. We're gonna take him. That's it. And that's how does it look like airport. That's our trick. How to get the how to get the taxi. And as you can see everywhere, the posters of G20 everywhere. On delegation here with the guns and this is summer here is the main entrance to the you know vip entrance to the airport for everyone who are interested like here supposed to be already back to bali uh, this is like a famous why is no lights here so the toll road is closed we cannot get home quicker have to go around sayang yeah, okay, okay. So that was our journey from Vietnam, Singapore and Bali during G20 currently. Um, well, it's pretty quiet to me. Maybe they make it nice, organized, like it's supposed to be, you know, um, stuff like this. It's quite a long uh, video today, but I hope so you enjoy. This is like a proper travel vlog. Okay, thanks for watching and see you tomorrow. See ya. Everything okay. back to Bali.